what's up? Welcome to my video. Today we're going to be learning how to put your water heater up. Hi guys, once again we find ourselves on the Spintex Road and back at UCT, City Ceramica and crew. We are looking to extend on our sustainability. Off grid in the center of town. So today I am looking for a water heater, not just any water heater, a solar water heater. So let's have a look at what they've got because I've been told there's so many different varieties. Apologies for the sound. Let's just get this done. Okay, so we're inside UCT today and I've been here before. And to be honest, I was drawn to these units here, the Proton Energy. Now this is the big one. This is massive. I'm sure this is over 400 liters. Let's have a look. This is a 300 liter unit. I don't think I need 300 liter liters. I need 200 liters, I reckon. So let's have a look and see what the pricing is like. So this is 17,500 Ghana cities. Uh, let's see if we can get any information on it. This is quite interesting while we're here. We've got these solar pumps. You could use these for um, your borehole and have them solar powered. Uh, that's what I will most definitely be having later on for our borehole. We want our, want to be sustainable. Off grid in the center of town is the slogan. They've got a lot of kits in here. A lot of batteries, cells, solar section. It's really good. These guys have practically helped us build our own our whole house. So this is very good. You have a cross section in here. Now what I've been told is the only servicing that you need to do is every six months you need to take this out of here and clean it off because that will take up and get metals, I believe. But let's see if we can get someone to explain the system to us um, and see what else they have in here. Have a look on the other side. On the other side, they have all these normal water heaters that plug directly into the network. Um, that's not what I want to go for. Uh, if I had the money, I probably would go for that 300 litre. Um, but you know, you don't want overkill. So let's have a look. This place is amazing. There's so much. that you can get in here. And the quality is good. Look at these. Not quite my taste, but it's very sparkly. Look here, 1,590 Ghana City, so a sparkly <laughs> sink, gold, if you want to do that. But let's get back onto what we've came here for. We are coming for a solar water heater. <laughs> so anytime you can come in here and they are having promos, so 13,000 Ghana cities, I'll do the conversion for 15 kilowatts lithium battery. Let's work that out later on and put the figures in. Well, that's not bad, huh? Well, let's do the transfer so before I say it's not bad. 15,000, is that about a grand? About a thousand dollars? Let's have a look. So when it comes to servicing and maintenance, I believe you need to come and every six months take that magnesium stick and clean it off and put it back in. But apart from that, this, I've been told that this one also has the ability to be plugged in so when you don't have sun um, you can still automatically heat the water with your normal electric. I'm not going to be doing that. 
the time of year that's cold enough for that to be an issue is very short in Ghana and hey it's still Africa sometimes you need a cold shower to shake things up so this one is what 300 liters so family of how much would use this 300 liters how many people this one at least six bedrooms six bedroom house then everybody can use at the same time so me i'm only having four so 200 liters is okay yeah so long as we're not all showering the same time yes okay and then i'm not sure everybody will shower at the same time. exactly so how long oh sorry how long will it take to heat water six out four. okay fantastic thank you so that's the proton energy um, I think we're going for this one. I've seen a lot. They don't have any any uh, maintenance to do, which worries me. Because if there's nothing to clean out the inside, that must shorten the length of your solar water heater. So off we go. Let's get this one home. And as many of you know, I've got a mess going on when it comes to my servers. So we will definitely be coming back for a server cabinet because that rat's nest they currently have is not going to cut it. So here is UCT. They've got everything from major infrastructure bits, server cabinets, CCTV, solar, everything. I do like to come and get my things from here. Backup generators. Plumbing today. We went and purchased one of these is a 200 litre solar water heater hey anything that can uh, bring down costs you know i'm in for and this is one of the things solar water heater we'll have a chat about this a bit more in depth later but as some of you may know already we've got a long way with the house build we have our guest room done here and we have tiled the first bedroom sorry <laughs> bedroom bathroom in the guest room the lights mm, i've got some akava light switches here we'll be going into that later but with this being done you can notice no toilet no sink they're all in those boxes and the rest of the house now needs to get connected to the old house. So let's go out and join the plumbing team. This plumber has been fantastic and I would definitely recommend him. His number will 100% be in the description box. If you want his number, I get a million and one people asking the same comments. Look in the description box, it will be there guys. So we're going back round and the guys have already started. We're doing some upgrading as ever. Frank. So this was the old style washout. Okay, so now that's gonna get upgraded to the new style washout. And if you can see, we haven't done any filling yet and this is exactly why we haven't done the filling because we are now doing the waste pipes and joining up the water pipes to the new side of the building. We had a pump in this box that would take water that was flooding in down here and then pump it straight out into the street. But now that's pretty much empty. I'll show you that later. The neighbors have filled their land. So all the water that used to flood in from them and into this corner and compromise this whole old house is pretty much stopped. So now these guys are digging the slope trench and we will be connecting those connections we done nearly hmm, nearly two years ago now that we made these uh, connections into the house and under the floor inside the house we're finally connecting them up and the waste will go straight to the septic tank right at the front of the property so we're on it building the frame for the solar heater day two of the plumbers being here they're not playing games this is fantastic uh, video but we're about to fit it and mount it upstairs we've already done the frame 
and this is the scary bit. Cool. Bench, hold this and film. Because they're gonna get water heater. So, welcome to my video. Today, we're going to be learning how to put your water heater up. As you can see, here's the water heater and some dogs barking there. And this is my father up there. Catch him in the red shirt. In the red shirt. And then there's that's the point tank. And now they have put it up. Wait, did it catch me? Did it catch me in the video? Yeah. Good. Santo, Santo, Santo Maria. So you have fitted this type before? Yes. Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. But which is the one that you would recommend the best, number one on market? Ah, yeah. but the Ariston one that I saw there, it has the white square box. So why do you think the Ariston is very good? Okay, so that I would say sometimes those who have been working for them, those who have been buying, mm -hmm. are first to the fact that that is good. There's not even one like the other one. Though since we've been fixing this one, too, nobody has been doing it yet. Yet. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's not because I bought it to her. It's too no. late. I've already bought it. <laughs> it's good. Mm. I think this is the fifth time I'm fixing this. Ah, okay. Yeah. And it's very good. But done is very good. And transfer the heat well. Yes. So it has two purposes at the same time. And it also holds it mm -hmm. inside. So we're coming to the final connection. You can see here that the hot return has been fitted. Now this one is the cold mains coming in. Once you've done that, we'll fill this bad boy up. We've got solo hot water, baby. <laughs> really looking forward to this. This is just part of our off-grid in the middle of town project. And look up here, guys. The roof space is so vast. Two more things to do on this rooftop. One being the solar panels, and the second one being the harvesting of rainwater right here in the middle of Accra. So it's been fantastic. We've had this now in for over a month, and the first week or two was the coldest. It's been the coldest winter in Ghana since we've moved here. I know it's all relative, but for us over here, it's been really chilly. Now I can see when the grandmas put on woolly hats, I actually felt cold. First time, I must be acclimatizing. But hey, this thing has been awesome. It's not plugged in, you can see. There's no plugs in there, there's no wires. It's all sun, solar powered. Uh, like I said, when it was cold, the hottest we could get the water was lukewarm. It's probably about, well, it felt lukewarm, about 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know the American conversion for my American crew and the hottest it's been is 70 degrees celsius that's scorching that is really too hot it's insane but it can do it now this has not been fixed to the roof there's no you can imagine it's a metal roof it's not been drilled if you drill it that's going to be a problem so it's literally the weight of the water the weight of the unit that keeps it up and this will give you because we're still conscious of water this will give you more hot water than you feel comfortable using 
So I mentioned earlier that the new water heater gives us more water than we're comfortable in using. And why did I say that? Because we have water tanks here, water storage. This little boy is the first one when I was here with my cousin setting out the foundations before the family got here. And that was okay. Two bachelors, not too much of a problem. This big boy was when the family came in and there was five of us. There's now six people in this house. And this, we can go through this in a week. And that cost us 250 Ghana cities to fill up. Uh, in the dry season, that is, it brings me so much anxiety. So what we are going to have to do here is level up. We're gonna to have to get a bigger water tank, maybe add it to this one. Uh, so we have, a, when we do get water, because we only get water twice a week, there's not water delivered to the house all week, um, that we can adequately get through a couple of weeks if they decide, like they have done this rainy season, oddly, to not give us water for sometimes for a couple of weeks. So you have to get your own, there's water trucks roaming around, they'll say you clean water and fill up your tanks. And this one's so small, it hasn't actually been added to the system. So it is just this tank that we use. And if it really gets bad, we come out and fill up um, containers. Uh, but normally the guys, this, this rainy season, they've been able to give us what we need, but it's, <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, but that is another section of upgrades coming later on. So next week, or maybe tomorrow, We'll get onto the doors and I'll let you see what we've done there. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for following. Thanks for all your support. If you haven't already, shame on you. Hit that subscribe button, please. It helps us get the story out and what you also could be doing when you move out to Ghana, to the state, the state, to the uh, continent and change your life forever. <laughs>